Hey there, it is Meg with Padme's and I am doing your mid month for June 2021, your energy for the middle of June. And I'm doing it a little differently. I'm trying something different. This is who I am doing the reading for. And I'm gonna turn that over at the end of the reading. So right now I am tuning into whoever needs to hear this, whoever, what sign this is. Uh, I'm tuning into your energies, calling in our angels and guides for the highest vibrations of love and light because they don't want to talk to anyone else. And I'm calling in Archangel Shemuel, Archangel Gabriel. Here we go. All right. Just checking in with your energy seeing what is going on for the next couple of weeks here. Okay. So the first thing that I'm noticing is this three of swords reversed down here. And this is in the position where all of this energy is coming from this place. And this is having to do with healing from a separation, a broken heart, disappointment in love, very possibly a third party, but it's reversed. So it's like, yeah, it's not brand speaking new. It's not totally fresh, but it's very hurtful. And you're coming, that's where the energy is coming from. Okay, so some kind of disappointment that you're healing from. Your higher self is talking about this empress being reversed. The empress reversed is not feeling like herself. She's not feeling like she's in her worth. I even hear trauma energy. And she's also feeling like she's not having boundaries. Her boundaries are off. Her alignment meter is off. Something's going on there. We're going to go ahead and clarify all of this too. So... Your angels and guides are talking about the hanged man being reversed. This is very much about Pisces energy, but it's also talking about not having to suffer anymore, not having to sacrifice anymore, having seen things from a different perspective. And oh, I'm even hearing soul retrieval, some kind of soul retrieval is wanting to happen or is happening. This can very much be sometimes the dark night of the soul coming up and out of that and also some kind of awakening happening. So I want to go ahead and just talk about your advice before I even move on to everything else, but this is talking about a door opening, the page of wands. It's like, go ahead and be open to this open door, walk through the open door. The big picture is there are a lot of majors here. Uh, let's just check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six. That's quite a few for this mid-month reading and this mid-month energy. So this magician at the big picture is reversed. This is like used car salesman type of energy. Somebody trying to manipulate and swindle to get there, to get control, to gain control. Um, this is also about not using all of your resources to manifest and happening now and into the near future. We have this devil card, the devil card reversed is talking about being aware of themes and patterns that are not serving you and being able to dislodge and release them because you are aware of them. And the heart of the situation here is that open door and the page of cups. You've got the ace of pentacles and the page of cups. So the heart of the situation is talking about this open door and someone making you some kind of a love offer or an offer that like an offer that you cannot refuse in the heart of the situation, or at least it sounds like that because the big picture is like, is this too good to be true? And in the past, there's some, there's some kind of, this is the thing to release. And the thing to release is the eight or the ace of cups. The ace of cups, it's like this has been released. This feeling, this intrinsic feeling of 
your highest and your greatest love coming into you, it's something that you're going to release or it's something that you've already released. And here's this queen of wands. You have a queen of wands that is in your resistance position. So this queen of wands is fiery. She knows how she wants to manifest. She knows how to direct her energy. She is full of sexual energy. She is very um, much an initiator. And it's in your energy of, I'm resistant to that. I'm feeling like somebody was, this queen of wands can also be kind of a third party or it can be sometimes like the other woman. And I feel like that could possibly be the, the third party here. But someone, I almost even want to say someone has given up on love or something's too good to be true because they were put in a position that, uh, that just was so incredibly hurtful. So up here we have past, present, future. In the past, we have the three of wands reversed. So somebody stopped or halted movement manifesting forward into the future. Then we have in the present time energy, the eight of wands reversed, slow moving, moving communication, slow moving, slow moving communication. And it's crossed with the strength card. I feel like this also has to do with making, like looking forward to things coming in the future, making goals, setting goals. It's like somebody is holding back on their goal setting. They are, I even feel like somebody's holding back energy toward another person or communication toward another person. It's like somebody's having to be really strong and holding back communication, but they are. They're like, I'm not bringing this into the future and I am doing everything I can not to talk to this person. And here's the high priestess in the trajectory in the future. Well, it's either you or this other person, but somebody finally breaks the silence. So somebody finally breaks the silence. Somebody makes an offer that seems like an offer that you can't refuse. But is it too good to be true because I've been hurt in the past? I've been going through this dark night of the soul. Higher self is like, I haven't been standing in my worth. This heartbreak is here. And now there's a door that's open and your advice is to walk through the door. So let's go ahead and Clarify. So let's clarify some of this. So first let's start with the three of swords. Tell me about this three of swords. Oh yeah, this three of swords went deep. This is like really deep emotional devastation that somebody is moving on from. This is where they're coming from. And let's look at the Empress reversed. And the Empress reversed is talking about some kind of epiphany. So here's this lightning bolt of epiphany, understanding. I haven't been myself. What have I been thinking? And the Hankman reversed, this no longer having to sacrifice, this no longer having to suffer. And this has to do with the tower, but it's Lenormand. So this has to do with can be work related, but this is definitely creating stability. This is having to do with creating stability through, through work, through uh, just where you live, what you drive, what you, what makes you comfortable in life, having everything that you need, like building all of the things that you need, no longer having to suffer, having everything that you need so that you don't have to worry about survival really. So this Empress is having an epiphany about what is creating stability. And let's look at this page of wands. This page of wands, yeah, wow. 
is really talking about something brand new starting. Walking through this door changes everything. Walking through this door, it's like you start a new life when you walk through this door. Let's look at this door because here it is. At this deck, this Ace of Pentacles, this is some kind of offer. This is some kind of potential energy with the offer of the Page of Cups. Somebody's offering this to you. It almost feels like a business proposition about love. I don't mean for that to sound as weird as it sounds, but this is, you know, this page of wands is talking about chemistry. It's talking about passion and initiation of things that are exciting. This is a new exciting, can be very much a lover. Okay. And wow, yeah. Here's the safe. So on one hand, it's literally feeling safe, but on the other, this is this is your money. This is security. And this page of cups. Oh my goodness. This is talking about possibly being the other woman. Whoa. So let's take a look at this ace of cups that seems to be in the position to release love, maybe love the way you thought, romance the way you thought about love and romance. And here's this queen of wands. You're like, I have resistance to this. We talked about this possibly being the other woman type card. That's possibly because you've known what that's been like. You know what that is. And that's what you're healing from. It also might be, I don't want to be that person there's resistance to it. Yeah, there's craftiness there. Not wanting to be part of that situation. Or there's some kind of internal conflict about that. Let's look at this double reversed. Ah, the double reversed. Here is, hmm, here's this gentleman. This is also the Ace of Cups. So you've got the Ace of Cups in what to release here. And then you've got this Ace of Cups in this gentleman happening now and into the near future, clarifying the devil card reversed. It's like this devil card, it's almost, you know, it's knowing what your themes and patterns that aren't serving you, knowing what they are in order to dislodge and release them. I feel like this person very well might be the person who is making this offer. And they're basically saying, I don't want to lie. Let's just make this a lifestyle. I don't want to lie about this. Let's look at this magician reversed. We're talking about uh, this person who is trying to manifest or encourage other people to do what it is that they need for them. And this is somebody who is, yeah, it's like winning an award. Winning an award. It's like somebody uh, like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross with the knives. Like if you sell this much, you get this great set of steak knives. Somebody gets an award for uh, kind of being sneaky monkey, but selling somebody something that they don't really want. Getting somebody to buy something that they don't really want. And they are the ones who are getting the award for it. Here's a three of wands reversed in the past. This is not bringing something forward into the future. This has been in the past though. Like there's been some kind of safety and security. This can also be some kind of like controlling situation that's in the past. And the eight of wands, not talking, not communicating, slow communication or slow goals to be achieved. Somebody's trying really hard to not communicate. This has to do with someone's possibly same star. Um, somebody sees someone else as their highest and greatest potential. This is possibly the person they're not talking to. Here's the coffin, not talking to my highest and my greatest potential. And here's this high priestess card, which is the energy of kind of letting the cat out of the bag. Uh, I feel like someone is breaking the silence here. 
perhaps with this. Hmm. Breaking the silence, this would be a dream or this would be ideal, kind of like idealistic thinking or creating a beautiful fairy tale. Someone breaking the silence talking about the fairy tale. Okay. So I want to ask what this person wants to say to you. What is it that this person wants to say to you? Empress up. They're saying that this, they're saying that they are standing in their empress. They are looking at their worth or someone is acknowledging the person who is standing in their worth and recognize, I'm hearing somebody's recognizing trauma and dealing with it, which very much could be this uh, double reverse. I'm recognizing shadow work, I'm recognizing trauma and I'm dealing with it, but I'm pressing up. So they're wanting to acknowledge that energy. Also strawberry quartz is a very sensual stone. It's reversed here. Somebody's also acknowledging that there's a lack of passion or there's there hasn't been passion. Here's a non-delight and it is also reversed. Someone is also acknowledging um, a spiritual connection. Like there's a this eight of wands up here in the slow to communicate part of that has to do uh, with chemistry part of that has to do with spirituality it's like however you are communicating verbally spiritually physically uh, there's been a halt in all of it oh yeah somebody's overcoming separation and loneliness they're feeling the the distance. And unrequited love, but it's reversed. So someone is really, I mean, talk about this three of swords reverse. Somebody's really trying hard to get over this. They're trying to get over this sadness and this upset. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some romance. Actually, I'm gonna pull some messages of love first. Angels and guides, what is it that we need to know about this relationship and what's going on here? Chemistry. There's definitely, or at least there was some chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. Past life love. No wonder somebody's having a hard time letting go. Uh, it looks like both of these people are, even to the point where this offer is coming in because somebody doesn't want to let somebody else go. Denial, detach with love to see, to clearly see the truth. Somebody's in denial. I feel like they're in denial about what leveling up a commitment actually is. Like there's, Somebody wants to be in a relationship and somebody else is just wanting to feel good. Feel like have their cake and eat it too, like have everything, but they're not really thinking about a vulnerable relationship, a, an intimate relationship, regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. And different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. Somebody's not giving the relationship what the, the respect that you're wanting to have. Let's see, okay. I'm going to ask the romance oracle, what is it that you need to know about this relationship? What is going on here? 
and finances and career. I feel like angels and guides are talking about this. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to. You don't have to be putting yourself in a place where you're not grounded and feeling like you have to give part of yourself away. This is almost like your angels and guides are talking about focusing on your finances and career so that you feel grounded and safe. Children, your love life is being affected by children. <laughs> you know, in this case, I feel very much like this person who wants to win this award for selling something to someone who doesn't really need or want it. I feel like this person's acting childish. I feel like, I also feel like somebody's in denial about their shadow work, but I feel like this person's acting young, you know? They're not acting like an emperor or a king, especially with this type of situation. Passion. They're interested in passion. They're not focusing on love. And engagement. I feel like one person is wanting this beautiful, wonderful, committed romantic relationship and this other person is just wanting passion and they're just being young or they're being um, immature, immature love. Let's go ahead and ask a yes or no question and I'll pull from the angel oracle. So yes or no. We get a straight up no. Get another clarifier on that. Here's some recovery. So I do feel like there's a lot of recovery going on right now with this Three of Swords reversed. Not having to sacrifice, putting yourself in a position where you don't have to sacrifice is what your angels and guides are talking about here. And yeah, ask your angels. They're like, listen to us. You don't have to sacrifice. This person that's asking you for this lifestyle, you don't have to sacrifice if this feels like a sacrifice for you. If it doesn't feel like a sacrifice, then that's a different story. But if it does, this is, this is not the only way to receive love. This empressing up is an important aspect to consider. Well, let's see. And this reading was for Leo. All right, Leo, thank you for being with me today and doing this little bit of uh, an experiment. Let me know how it resonated and like and subscribe and I'll talk to you before the end of the month again. Okay, love you, Leo. Bye.